Hello, everybody, and welcome to the year-end edition of Tips from a Native New Yorker. This week we are talking about New Year's Eve and activities to do that come at no cost to you. As you can see, we broke the bank this week. Our production budget was spent not on research and development, but on costumes and designs, and I hope you enjoy the lavish production. Watch out, Ryan Seacrest. So the obvious destination is Times Square. Uh, I, I guess for people that head to Pamplona, Spain in July for the running of the bulls, the New Year's Eve at Times Square is the winter equivalent of it. Many hours of waiting, although there are different types of entertainment that go on throughout the evening, beginning at about 6 o'clock. But for many people, it will be too cold, and the challenge of going without a restroom for 5 or 6 hours can be daunting. So let's talk about some other options that are available. The option that's closest to Times Square is to head up to Central Park. Every year, the New York Roadrunners Club runs a short run at midnight that starts in Central Park, and you need to pre-register for that run. But what you do not need to pre-register for are the festivities and the fireworks that go on in the park. So if you enter the park south of 72nd Street, that's the area that's open to the general public rather than to the registered runners, you can feel a part of a crowd celebrating and get to watch fireworks uh, around midnight. You can also head south to the Brooklyn Bridge, and you can take the pedestrian access to the Brooklyn Bridge, whether you do it from the Manhattan side or you do it from the Brooklyn side. Expect it to be very crowded, so it'll be slow walking across, but on a clear winter's night, you'll get a beautiful view of Manhattan, and at midnight, you'll be able to see various fireworks displays off in the distance. Finally, the last choice is to go to Grand Army Plaza. Grand Army Plaza is the majestic uh, statue that sits right at the edge of Prospect Park and the Brooklyn Museum and the Brooklyn Botanical Gardens. And again, they too have a local celebration of New Year's Eve festivities that culminate with fireworks at midnight. So I think those are a couple of nice choices for those of you that choose to Brave Times Square, it is certainly a bucket list experience, probably a once-in-a-lifetime bucket experience. But the other options are pretty good and will give you an opportunity to ring in the new year in the presence of many other revelers without having to deal with all the rules and regulations that you'll find challenging at Times Square. Enjoy your trips to New York City, enjoy the New Year celebration, and we'll see you again soon.